Here is an exemplar poetry essay at GCSE standard which attained almost full marks. The essay was written by a student aged 16 in exam conditions, taking approximately 40 to 45 minutes to complete. This response may help anyone who is struggling to structure a poetry essay which compares two poems. However, there might be aspects you'd like to change or other ideas you'd like to include. The exam question was, compare how poets use language to present feelings in The Manhunt by Simon Armitage and Quick Draw by Carol Ann Duffy. The Manhunt After the first phase, after passionate nights and intimate days, only then would he let me trace the frozen river which ran through his face. Only then would he let me explore the blown hinge of his lower jaw and handle and hold the damaged porcelain collarbone and mind and attend the fractured rudder of shoulder blade and finger and thumb the parachute silk of his punctured lung. Only then could I bind the struts and climb the rungs of his broken ribs and feel the hurt of his grazed heart. Skirting along, only then could I picture the scan the foetus of metal beneath his chest where the bullet had finally come to rest. Then I widen the search, trace the scarring back to its source, to a sweating, unexploded mine buried deep in his mind, around which every nerve in his body had tightened and closed. Then, and only then, did I come close. Quick draw. I wear the two, the mobile and the landline phones like guns, slung from the pockets on my hips. I'm all alone. You ring, quick draw, your voice a pellet in my ear, and hear me groan. You've wounded me. Next time, you speak after the tone. I twirl the phone, then squeeze the trigger of my tongue wide of the mark. You choose your spot, then blast me through the heart. And this is love, high noon, Calamity, hard liquor in the old last chance saloon. I show the mobile to the sheriff. In my boot, another one's concealed. You text them both at once. I reel. Down on my knees, I fumble for the phone. Read the silver bullets of your kiss. Take this, and this, and this, and this, and this. This essay consists of eight paragraphs. Paragraph 1. In both The Manhunt by Simon Armitage and Quick Draw by Carol Ann Duffy, the poets use similar language techniques to express the characters' feelings. The main theme in these poems is the breakdown of a couple's relationship and the stresses and emotions this breakdown puts the people under. In The Manhunt, Armitage clearly expresses that the couple's relationship has been damaged by the husband's Eddie's personal experiences whilst at war. These experiences have had a severe effect on the man's personality and his physical health. This, in turn, has had an effect on the relationship. Unlike the manhunt, in Quick Draw, the couple is not in danger of ruining their relationship because of something that has happened to one of them. It is damaged because of the hurtful things they have been saying to each other. Duffy clearly states that one of the reasons for this is due to the use of their mobile phones. Paragraph 2. The structure in the manhunt is used for a particular outcome. The continuous use of short two-line stanzas not only reflects the fragility and weaknesses of the relationship, it also shows the wife's actions to try and comfort her husband. The broken up look of the poem implies that the couple's relationship has been ripped to pieces and the couple is trying to piece it back together. Also, in each stanza, the first line is normally something that the wife is trying to do to heal her husband in some way, mind and attend, and the second line is normally describing the extent of the husband's wounds, the fractured rudder of shoulder blade. Paragraph 3. The structure of quick draw progressively builds suspense, with the story reaching the climax at the end. The poem starts quite slow paced, where it's setting the scene with western imagery, and then the poem explodes into life, like a gun battle, with the sheriff looking on. The form of the first three stanzas resembles the shape of a gun, 
which reflects the danger and violence in the poem. Paragraph 4. Armitage uses many different vivid images in his poem to express the feelings the husband is experiencing. He also talks about the amount of physical torture he has endured. The narrator says, feel the hurt of his grazed heart. This could be interpreted that Eddie has been hurt severely and emotionally by his experiences and consequently it has affected his relationship with his wife. The use of the word heart signifies not only the lifeline and the pivotal engine system of his body, but the vast love he had and still has for his wife. The wife is feeling the pain with her husband, feel the hurt, so the reader can empathise and understand the roller coaster of emotions the couple is going through. On a deeper level, a graze is normally something that can be nurtured and will heal over time, but if not dealt with correctly, it could end up as a scar which reflects how close their relationship is to breaking point. Paragraph 5. Similarly, in Quick Draw, Duffy uses vivid imagery to express how close the couple's relationship is to the end. Read the silver bullets of your kiss. This shows that although there is a positive side to this quote, kiss, the words that are being said are extremely hurtful. The word bullets implies that the struggle is slowly killing the speaker and she can't deal with it. The fact that the bullets are silver means that they are strong enough to destroy anything, even the strongest of relationships, because silver bullets are renowned for being able to kill any type of beast. Silver also implies that there is still hope for the relationship because silver is precious and because of the expression, every cloud has a silver lining. Paragraph 6. In The Manhunt, Armitage uses an interesting metaphor to describe the feelings of Eddie. He says, the fetus of metal beneath his chest. This could mean that the pressure of the couple's tribulations is growing inside of him, much like a fetus. A fetus is also a symbol for life and joy, but unusually this is the exact opposite of what it is in Eddie. The word metal reflects the pain and suffering Eddie has gone through at war and in a harsh, gruesome image that makes the reader feel quite taken back because the fetus of metal is near his heart. It will soon reach his heart as it grows, which reflects how his pain is passing on to his relationship. Paragraph 7. In Quick Draw, Duffy shows that the two people almost want to hurt each other rather than help each other. She says, the trigger of my tongue wide of the mark. The use of the word trigger suggests that the couple is deliberately trying to hurt each other's feelings by hurling insults towards the heart, the only way they know how to. The phrase wide of the mark suggests that the remarks don't always hit home, which means there is some promise for the couple. Paragraph 8. In conclusion, Duffy and Armitage both use similar themes in their poems. The breakdown of a couple's relationship is a key feature in both and provides the background and storyline of them. Both are raising wider issues of how couples deal with obstacles in their relationships. Moreover, both are about the hope that is still there for them, but sadly both end with a negative tone, emphasising that the struggle will carry on. If you found this helpful, you may wish to check out Poetry Essay app. It provides you with a range of writing frames to help you stitch a poetry essay together. Alternatively, please visit poetryessay.co.uk for some other resources such as posters, poetry annotations and planning templates to assist your analysis of poetry.